Have you ever wished you had the means to bottle up some energy on a day when you're super hyper and save it for a day when you're so drained? Plants actually do have a way of bottling energy, which is by storing energy as starch. Starch is a carbohydrate found in plants. Plants store glucose, which comes from the Greek word for sweet, as starch. Cereal grains such as wheat, rice, corn, oats, barley, as well as tubers such as potatoes are all rich in starch. Starch has many uses. Our body digests starch to make glucose, which is a vital energy source for every cell. It is also used as a thickener in foods and to make sweeteners. We can use iodine to test foods for starch. If starch is present, the orange-yellow iodine solution becomes blue or black, as we will see in this experiment. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, and welcome to the third episode or experiment of this um, box called Chemistry of Plants. So in this video, we will um, be doing the experiment called, Is this food starchy? So yeah, let's get started. So first, before we start, we have to prepare some things in advance. And those things are a cutting board and a knife, a raw potato. I have raw potato here, a slice of lemon, also some boiling water, which will come later. This is the main things. Also, aside from that, we're going to take some things from the starter kit. So I'll take safety glasses, a plastic tray, a disposable cup I have right here. And those are really the main things we're going to need from the starter kit. Now, some things I'm going to take from the set is a double-ended measuring spoon. Here it is. Some protective gloves, which I have right here. And a pipette, a pin opener, a plastic vial, some copper sulfate, and some potassium ion. And those are all the things we need. So now, let's start the experiment. Okay, so first, I will start off by cutting the slice of lemon into quarters. So half and another half. And I will wipe this knife and I will cut a slice of our potato and do the same thing by cutting it into four. Here I have four of a slice. Okay, so we're actually going to need two disposable cups. So here are my two disposable cups and I will put the potatoes in one cup and the lemons in the other cup here. And now I will add boiling water and let that sit in for five minutes. Three, two, one, time's up! Okay, so these sat in boiling water for five minutes. So I will um, open this vial and make sure you have your glo gloves on because we're now working with the chemicals. So we're going to get our double-sided spoon measurement and we're going to get some copper sulfate and put one big spoonful into the plastic vial. Here's our vial and I will get a bit one big spoon. Okay, that's enough. And now the main challenge of this is trying to put this in without spilling. So I'll use a funnel to make my life easier. Now that we have one big spoonful of copper sulfate, I'll put two big spoonfuls of potassium iodide. And two. I should probably avoid um, smelling this. Uh, I have to avoid inhaling this. And now I will close the vial and vigorously shake it for 10 seconds. I want to make sure this is tight. Start the timer and let's shake. Time's up. Now we do not want to breathe this. We do not absolutely want to breathe this. So we're going to just bring these over here now because we're going to put some of this into potato water and lemon water we have here. Let's just get this much. Five drops and the potato one. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, that is amazing. SubhanAllah, that's so cool. And five drops into the lemon one also. One, two, three, four, and five. So now we just compare the result. So when we put the five drops of our solution into the potato, it turned very dark blue. And when we put five drops of this into the lemon water, uh, there was a very small change, but 
here in the bottom there it became a little darker like apple juice so yeah it worked alhamdulillah so that's it for today's experiment it was really cool mashallah so stay tuned for the next box inshallah because we have completed all the three experiments in the chemi chemistry of plants box alhamdulillah and that's it assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh thanks for watching this video subscribe and click on the notification bell like comment and share with friends and family.